Hey besties, this is broken ring light that I actually really want to try. So let's turn it on. I think this is giving, right? So hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is I'm going to be doing a I guess like another makeup look if you want to call it. I mean, like I just really been liking doing makeup videos on my channel and especially like all over TikTok I have been seeing so many like makeup suggestions and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and yada yada yada. And one thing that I realized that I don't do is I do not put sunscreen on my face. We're just going to kind of get into the video. Um, I'm not really going anywhere like I'm not going out or anything. I just decided to do a makeup because I was like really bored. Literally just sitting in my bed like watching it like on TikTok. And I was like, let me go ahead and do my makeup, you know? And I didn't wear my contacts all day today because last night my contacts was like hurting my eye. Like I don't know, like it was really irritating my eye. And I think it was... um What's it called? My contacts was hurting my eye and or like just bothering it. And I think it was because I haven't like had it like soak in solution for a little bit because usually I keep my contacts on and I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I'd be doing that anyway. And I think my contacts just got really dry and it was just irritating my eye. I'm gonna be using this sunscreen. I forgot the name of this sunscreen, but I used it all the time over the summer when i was lifeguarding i don't know if you guys have seen that video but like a day in the life like summer job lifeguarding something like that i'll link it either up here or over there so you can watch that if you want to um i forgot the name of the sunscreen that i use but this is that sunscreen because i remember because i packed it and i put it in this to go um this to go container when we went to mexico but i just forgot the name of the sunscreen I'm just gonna rub it in so I wonder if this is actually going to help like the process of me putting makeup on my skin I don't know if you guys can tell from from like a couple seconds ago to now but like I feel like my skin is super shiny and then I'm also gonna go in with the glow recipe dew drops so um, I can have like a little bit of a glow it's literally not even coming out, bruh. Take this and open it like this, and then I'm just gonna put it on my face. I actually really like this, so I might get some more Glow Recipe products. As I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm kind of like breaking out a little bit right here. Um, yeah. And I also put on mascara earlier this morning, but it's okay, we don't gotta worry about that. Go in with my Stay Naked foundation. It looks like this. I've been using Stay Naked for years now, ever since I was in competition dance. So I love me some Stay Naked. I've been using it forever. Because I lost my beauty blender, I have no idea where my beauty blender went. I'm gonna just go in with my um, foundation brush. And I'm gonna go in with some, spreading, with some setting spray really quick. So, mm, I got hair on my face. I literally had just got up and like, I'm gonna film. Like, I didn't even really process that I was gonna film. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna just turn the camera on. I'm gonna make sure you get that. And I'm just gonna blend in really, really good with my brush. Once I get my foundation set in with this brush, I like to go in with one more. Well, before I lost my beauty blender, um, I usually, I would usually go with my beauty blender and do this, but since I'm using my brush, I'm gonna use a brush that doesn't have any foundation on it and then just blend that in. <laughs> Okay, so I finished putting my foundation in, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with concealer. 
and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer low-key now that I've been using this for a while I don't recommend this concealer so I am actually kind of mad that I put that I spent a lot of money on this concealer I'm just a little mad and then I'm also gonna go in with my trusty dusty Maybelline concealer that I got from Walmart And I'm just gonna put that under my eye too. Probably put a little bit too much, but it's okay. And then I'm also gonna go in with this Tarte Face Tape Foundation. And I like to use this for contour. Just because they sent, um, Ipsy sent me this and it was way too dark for my skin. So I like to use this as contour because it's really pretty. I used to go all the way down, but then I realized that it brings it down too much, and I don't really like that. Did I do contour right here? Nah, I don't think I want to do that. Get out my contour palette. I got this from Five Below. It looks like this. I'm just going to use like this angled foundation brush. As you can see, it's angled. And I just like to use this color right here. Because all the other colors is way too light. This is the only one that I use. And this one I just think is a little bit lighter. All of them is just giving orangey vibes. I'll just go in with this, right? And I just put this where my liquid contour is. Ooh. Oh my god, I got this in my hair. Wait, I actually literally pulled out this headband for a reason. It's because I wanted to use this headband. Okay. I kind of like contour now. Like, I used to, like, not get it. Like, I really thought for a long time, like, I really couldn't contour my face because I was just, because of my skin color. And I actually kind of like like the like the darker like the darker look at the top of my forehead and then like lighter in the middle of my forehead anyway because that's kind of how my forehead is anyway like it's really dark at the top where my hairline is and then like in between my eyebrows like my forehead naturally gets dark I mean in between my eyebrows my forehead naturally gets lighter anyway <laughs> because like I've been doing makeup when I was little at my grandma's house like I will always do my makeup over there I literally put her foot cream on my face as a moisturizer because I was trying to do my makeup I'm getting my base set and I'm gonna go in and blend this concealer out and I'm gonna spray a little bit more of setting spray on my face gonna use this flat brush that I used to blend actually no I'm gonna use this brush right here to blend out my concealer I have no idea what brush this is or what size it is I literally got it from Amazon <laughs> trying to blend my contour and my highlight I mean concealer on my cheekbone I just want to make sure that it's blended in really good but I'm literally 
I've been watching Empire these past couple days. I'm on season two already. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit more concealer and I'm gonna try to cover up this blemish that's on my, that's kind of like in my eyebrow a little bit. Just cause I really don't want that to show. I put a little bit too much of this actually. <laughs> So now that I got this set, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to use the smallest brush I can find, which is this one right here. And this one is a Shaney brush and this is in the, in the size ES006. But my nail business is literally going so good right now. Me and my boyfriend are trying to decide if we want to live an extra year on campus or if we want to get our own apartment or if we want to get a house with our friends and kind of like just sign a lease. We're going to try to see, you know, what, what works better for us. Um, if we can't get a house with our friends, we're probably gonna like just move in together, which is a really huge step for our relationship, which is a really huge step for our relationship. And with a little bit of a more fluffy brush, and this one is half caked. Um, this brush is the half cake brush in the uh, in the size 128 and it's a shader it's literally by half caked i got this from ipsy I, can't really see where did I, miss I feel like i looked a mess all day today like i literally went to my class in pajamas but my camera is about to die so i'll try to like implement pictures in the video if i can't finish but i'm gonna go on my eyebrows real quick <laughs> mascara on from earlier but we're just gonna do a little bit more and we're gonna do blush sorry I'm like rushing now I feel like I was doing too much talking using the milk makeup blush For the last thing that I think I have to do is I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. Oh my god, I did not even set my face with the setting powder. I literally forgot all about that. I'm about to do that right now. TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. This um, Eco Tools brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out on my cheeks like this. You also use my Eco Tools angled brush like this, and I'm going to use some setting powder underneath my eyes just to kind of set that. And because I already put like highlighter and stuff on, um, I'm not gonna use that much. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for like a couple seconds. And then I'm gonna swipe, swipe this off. My mom. Okay, 
now I'm going to wipe my setting powder off. And then I'm going to go in with the very, very last thing, which is lip gloss. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.